Hello everyone, and welcome to a couple of hot laps in Canada in the wet. So it's of course Montreal then, and I've done this in response to a competition that Formula 1 game Twitter was running. Um, and you've got to get a fast time in a Red Bull in the wet at Montreal, and you've got to try and beat Vettel's time, which actually I found fairly easy. So, here we go then, this is the setup. I won't bother reading it out, but there it is if you want to know. Fairly dry standard setup to be honest, and it is intermediate conditions as always in time trial mode. And here we go then, so the lights are going out then. This isn't a track guide, so I won't be talking incredibly fast and uh, I won't be guiding you through a lap, but I'll just be commentating the lap really. So pretty good chic final chicane there. Not bad at all as I use all the curves I can before the run to the line. In this ripple with the lunging camera then gonna be breaking very late or late as possible for the first corner. This is a lap without corner cutting. And as I now come to the exit, gotta get the best traction possible, get a little bit of wheel spin, but not too bad. I'm actually behind my current time. So it's not a great lap so far, trying to avoid cutting, cutting a little bit there, but it's always tricky in the wet not to cut the corners. I've actually managed to catch up myself though, and I'm 600s down, so certainly lost time, but that was all in the first corner, wasn't it? The first couple of corners, I've actually lost more time there. I didn't quite get my power down as much as I wanted to. Lost a little bit of time. Half my curves left now then, breaking very late. Pretty much dry, so I want to cut the corner slightly there, trying to avoid it, as I said, it's very difficult. Breaking virtually at my dry point there, actually. Breaking very, very late indeed with my high large discs. Here we go, I'm actually 300s up then. Coming into the final chicane, just about when I should get it all slowed down. I should not lock the rear, it's very easy to do with the brake setup I've got. I'm in 47.53 balance, so it's quite rearward, really. There we go then. Up through the gears. Down the back straight. I'm on draw, so I am up. You can see the ghost behind me there. I'm up by probably a couple of tenths at this point. Try not to cut the corners once again. Nailing that. They use both of those apexes actually really nicely and actually get a better run out the corner than that last lap there. And this brings me to a lap of a 1 minute 17.682, just over 3 tenths up. So this is a very good lap, as I said, without cuts. And we'll now flip to a lap. This is going to be with corner cutting and to accommodate it, I'm running 1-1. One, one, and you see right height and 9-9 nine, nine. spring rate, I believe it's called. So I can jump over these curves nicely. Now I suspect a lot of submissions straight away, you can see they're cutting a corner badly. A lot of the submissions submitted for the competition will be corner cutting submissions because all you need to send is a time trial at the end of your lap. So I spent a lot on my corner cutting so I thought well let's even the playing field and I will do corner cutting. So the lap that I'm up against now is actually a cutting lap as well. I did a couple of practice laps before this so that lap has been corner cut. Here we go this is a big corner cut you gain a lot of time through both of these corners by cutting them. It's so particularly that first part of that chicane you gain a lot of time. I think I about three tenths or so of my previous, and I'll get a further 700s up on my previous 800s almost. And then we come through the chicane now, very tricky to get the power down on the wet, just about managed to do it. Used about, once again, got half my curves left, and I'm a little way ahead now, but about maybe a tenth ahead of my previous times, so is looking pretty good. Oh, I missed my apex slightly, you can actually cut that corner. That's the main reason, really, why I adjusted my suspension, so you can nail that curve on the inside there nicely, but it didn't quite manage it, it ran slightly wide, but I'm still up. Still up, lost a few hundreds, but just about managed to get all slowed down. I had to delay my downshift in order to stop the rears from locking. Trying to get the power down nicely, which I just about managed to do. Yes, I do indeed. Using the rest of my curves. Very tricky to not get some wheel spin out of the corner. And I'm just about ahead of my time. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm now behind. I'm just behind my time. But I need to get a good final chicane then. So, breaking relatively early. Bounce over the curb nicely, just about avoiding the second curb. Getting the power down hard then, for the run to the line, I'm now ahead of my time and gaining on it. So all this time I'm gaining on my previous time and I go 1 minute 16.918. Four and a half hundredths up on my previous, so pretty good lap. Well, actually that's a world record lap, but of course doesn't feel great, not going to lie, since it was corner cutting. But I thought level the playing field by doing some cutting myself. Thanks for watching.